Welcome back, folks. Kind of silly we're going to be doing this episode, but we're going to do it anyway. Sometimes a lot of uh, effort, a lot of work reaps little reward, and we're going to show you how and why. In this one, we're back up to Cape Breton. We're just outside the Shetty Camp area. We did this on the same trip as the last episode, to be honest. We wanted to check this site out for a long time. We've always heard about it. The infamous Mountaintop Mine, or the Mountaintop Adit. It has been previously visited, it is a known site. So this year we decided we were gonna go find this darn thing. We didn't want to walk three or four hours in and three or four hours out, so we decided to go off-roading and uh, take the 4x4 up into the mountains. We were going to drive to this thing right to its mouth and go from there. Nova Scotia Gold Corporation had this on their homepage once as one of their prospects years ago. I guess they got a hold of this as a claim at one time. They may still actually hold it. But that infamous picture of that ATV sitting next to that added opening, hmm, tasty, kept us really interested in finally getting to this thing. We had no idea how deep it would go or what workings were inside. There was just no material out there, so this was going to be a purely cold visit, which is how we like it. Unfortunately, as you'll see, you know what, I'm going to stop blabbing. Let's just get to the footage on the ground. We'll simply go from there. It will be self-explanatory. Let's go! Okay, folks, here we are near Chetty Camp in Cape Breton, and we are investigating the mountaintop at it. Allegedly an old copper mine, maybe a gold mine. And we're here after kilometers of trepidatious four-wheeling in the truck through the woods. It took about a half hour to get back here. And uh, we checked it, but we're bringing out the cameras for your sake now because we want to show you what we discovered. So we were all excited to find it, because we'd seen pictures of it online, and here it is. Cool, eh? Really promising. We're fighting humidity, so if the lens is foggy, and we're being attacked by horse flies, as you can see. So here's what we're seeing. It all looks great. When we got here, we were happy, and then, of course, if you just get a little bit closer, we'll show you what we see here. Whoops. Got to get up the cliff. This is the problem. That's it, folks. <laughs> this will be the shortest episode of Nova Scotia Mine Hunters in our history because this thing is eight feet deep. <laughs> we came 40 minutes through the woods and nearly trashed the truck uh, in four wheel drive low to get up here, and this is the crap we find. I mean, we have to cover it and scratch it off. We didn't know what we were going to find. But yeah, eight feet deep, folks. Um, the only things to really note if we come in here uh, is there is a quartz vein they must have been chasing and investigating, going horizontal there. It's only about three, four inches thick. Anyway, I will bid you adieu. Now we have to spend uh, 40 more minutes to get back out of these mountains up in the Cape Rutten Highlands and uh, nearly trash the truck again on these old ATV roads. So uh, that's it. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Right.